Apple is a technology giant that has been around since the 1970s. It has had a significant impact on the world of technology, particularly with its popular products like the iPhone, MacBooks, and iPads. However, as with any large corporation, Apple has had its fair share of controversies and scandals over the years. In this article, we will take a closer look at some of the worst things that Apple has ever done, from issues with labor practices to antitrust violations and product defects. While Apple is undoubtedly a powerhouse in the tech industry, it is important to examine both its successes and failures to get a complete picture of the company. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the top worst things that Apple has ever done. Yeah, you heard it right. The Demise of the Home Button Apple detonated a bomb with the debut of the iPhone in 2007, irreversibly altering the smartphone environment. A market that was once confined to commercial customers is now accessible to the general public. Physical keyboards and cumbersome interfaces have been replaced by a single button and a large display. Soon after, competitors introduced comparable products and everyone became accustomed to using a home button on their smartphone. Hence, when reports arose in 2017 that Apple will discontinue the button, many diehard fans were dismayed. Despite initial skepticism, iPhone owners were pleased to get the extra screen space and even Apple's competitors followed suit. The Puck Mouse Douglas Engelbart invented the first computer mouse in the early 1960s. There have been innumerable variants of this innovative piece of computer technology since then. From trackballs to vertical mice and beyond, a multitude of permutations have been tested. Apple decided to produce their first mouse with a new USB interface in 1998. Apple's greatest innovation at the time consisted of transforming what was essentially a hockey puck into a mouse. The device was perpetually regarded as one of Apple's worst products, and its users detested it without exception. It was awkward to hold and spun in multiple directions repeatedly. In July of 2000, a swift blow from the Apple Pro Mouse put an end to this horrible design. Hooked on iTunes iTunes was originally intended to be nothing more than a media player, but it has since evolved into much more. Many iPhone and iPod users were bound to this old desktop program for years. Users would require to sync their music libraries to their devices, as opposed to copying and pasting as with other devices and music software. Whether it was the application's sluggish performance or the apparently continuous stream of upgrades that it required, iTunes became a significant crutch for many of Apple's most devoted followers. Happily for Mac users, it has been superseded with separate applications such as Apple Music. Windows users, though, may need to continue using it for a little longer. The launch of Apple Maps From the inception of the iPhone, Google Maps has been the preferred navigation application. All of that changed, however, due to a dispute over Google's exclusive rights to turn-by-turn -turn guidance on Android. Apple Maps was announced to replace Google as the default mapping application on iPhones in September 2012. Apple's new map product was met with significant opposition from customers upon its release. Numerous locations were misspelled or completely removed. In other instances, the map representations resembled a theme park ride rather than roadways. It was so terrible that Apple CEO Tim Cook issued an official apology less than a month after the product's release. Please Apple, you can improve. The tax man cometh. Tax season is constantly looming, and for many, that means either a return or paying back what you owe. Apple, on the other hand, was rumored to have utilized clever accounting to avoid paying substantial gains taxes. Apple has been able to maintain a significant portion of its revenues by transferring funds to offshore accounts in Ireland, the Netherlands, and even the little British island of Jersey. In the end, the European Union penalized them almost $14 billion in overdue taxes. They eventually brought a portion of that profit back to the US, but it cost them $38 billion in taxes. Epic Games vs. Apple With the introduction of the App Store, numerous developers have grumbled about Apple's hefty portion of app profits. Many believe that Apple's 30% royalty rate is excessive. Epic Games, the developers of the video game Fortnite, decided that enough was enough. In August of 2020, Epic modified the iOS version of Fortnite to allow gamers to purchase in-game cash through the video game creator at a discounted rate, rather than from the App Store at full price. Apple withdrew the update as soon as it was installed. The subsequent lawsuit cited Apple's anti-competitive activities. Apple threatened to remove their developer license, posing a threat to all games using their license Unreal Engine. This was subsequently stopped by the court, although the conflict between the two parties continues to this day. 
So long headphone jack. That began with the home button, then lightning ports replaced USB ports, then Apple chose to break precedent once more by removing another essential component from the iPhone. With the introduction of the iPhone 7, the headphone jack was eliminated from the smartphone's hardware. This resulted in significant resentment from users and corporate insiders. Many believe that Apple was imposing the usage of wireless technology that was not yet ready for widespread adoption. Others were enraged because they could not charge their device while listening to music and they had to carry an additional adapter. The port remained on the iPad but has since been removed from their mobile devices. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.